guys, Patricia with another video. This time is my weekly wax empties. Um, I don't know if I'm posting this. Today is Friday, January 13th. I don't know if I'm posting it today or tomorrow. I posted two in a row, so maybe you guys need a break from my face. I don't know. Um, I got through quite a bit, of course, like every other time. Um, but yeah, finished up my melting basket, I think, on a Tuesday. Wednesday and then I had I, that's why I posted my other one early because I started it and some of that's in here so I just didn't want you going hmm this wasn't in your melting basket and this is in the next melting basket so I doubt you guys would but anyways um we are going to get into non-empties so every year Santa brings my sorry my kitten he is meowing um just one sec Okay, he is up with me now. He is cute, and I show him off in every video. Ah. But anyways, we'll see how long this lasts. Every year, Santa gives my son um, a new scent pack. Uh, so he had Eskimo Kiss and then now Polar Bear Hugs. I don't care for the scent. I know, like, every, it's a tried and true favorite. Everybody loves it, but um, I just don't care for it. Yeah, not a fave, and replaced it with coconut lemongrass, so. Um, and then we got through um, a scent, or a car bar. You guys know these are in pretty much all of them. Um, this is apple and cinnamon sticks. This lasted like a week. I could smell it off and on for about a week. I don't know if he likes that or not, but... Yeah, it just didn't, I thought this is a strong scent it would perform better, but it, it just not, I, I don't know if it's my work truck or what it is. Maybe it just doesn't like scent, but you would think that uh, it would perform better because it's a, like a smaller area. So, and I don't, nobody smokes in it or anything. I don't understand. Uh, the only difference is, is that my work truck has cloth seeds and my vehicle has leather. But yeah, I replace it with Harvest Blessings. This isn't doing well either. This hasn't been, I haven't really smelled it since I put it in. So unfortunately, again, I'm not having greatest performance with car bars. So, and then out of my car, I got through Cozy Cardigan. I don't care for Cozy Cardigan and wax, but it was nice in my SUV. Uh, and this one lasted like three weeks. So I really enjoyed that. I actually probably would replace that and I changed it out with Farm Stand Pumpkin and this one's doing all right, so. All right, we'll do Scentsy first, I guess. Um, I got through a clam of cookie dough. This is from July, 2014 and I bring back my bar. It is, I don't know what's in it, but I don't like it. It, it, it smells like cookie dough that's been left out and gone stale. I had to change it out. I had to go in like a day and I just, I couldn't stand the smell. So I'm not a repurchase. Uh, cotton candy cookie. It's just so good. I love cotton candy cookie. Again, I know you, I've had people comment and say like, they wish they could smell what I smell. I wish you could too. This is a beautiful cotton candy scent with some cookies. I love it. <sighs> Sorry, this is not a... He was sleeping, is why I decided to do it, and now he is not, so, and he jumped. Okay, I got through two whipped vanilla pears, and this is caramel baked pear whipped vanilla. This is good. I enjoy this. It is not like a super big love of mine, but it's nice. Again, pear's not exactly my favorite thing. Fruity scents are my thing, but this, this with the caramel really is nice. I think I prefer it in the smell of it in a smaller area. Um, I just find a little bit more of that caramel comes out and less of the pear. So I really enjoy it. If this came back, I'd pick up a couple more, but it's not one I would club. I got through two eggnogs. This was from the Sense of the Season in 2016. And it's nutmeg, rum, and cream. This scent is why I say I like thought I liked eggnog. This is so creamy. 
it is so i just you can't even explain this is what eggnog sm like smells like to me it's no spice it says rum but i get nothing it's just a beautiful creamy scent um garth stop anyways this through medium light but i mean it's it's six years old so but it was really really good i wish this would come back this to me is a far superior version of eggnog than uh spiked is a spiked eggnog spiced eggnog from last year's brick so i wish that one would come back i got through two clams of um apple butter frosting um if you're wondering i've been so if you guys watch my year on empties i had to go through and try to think of my favorites and stuff trisha gates um messaged me or left a comment and that just told me to put a heart so then when i'm doing it at the end of the year you guys kind of know what my favorites are so but you guys should know apple butter frosting one of my favorites it's in my club these ones were starting to get really bad but these are from 2016 i'm going through my older bars like and I don't even know why I'm hoarding them because I have this in my club. This has been back. So anyways, I love this scent. Still through phenomenal. Love it. I got through two of my Woodland Suede, which is red oak, smoky cedar, suede musk, and winter lemon. I forgot to say what was it an apple butter frosting. These are from September 2015. I was hoarding these. I love Woodland Suede. Hands down, favorite masculine scent. It's just so comforting and warm and it, this is what I wish um, men would wear or like my boyfriend I guess would wear. He doesn't wear colognes or anything but yeah it's just it's so cozy. It's such a cozy tree masculine scent. I love this and I was hoarding them and now I don't because it's in my club so love that. I also got through my bar of crumb top which is oats, butter, brown sugar. I've been hoard. This was my only bar. I used up a half a bar last year, year before. This is by far my favorite Scentsy scent. I've been hoarding this 2015, seven years old. I could finally melt it because it's in my club. Ugh, such a good bakery scent. Love it. And I'm glad everyone else is pretty much loving it the same as I do. This scent, I'm kind of a sad monkey about. It is sandalwood and cranberry from 2015 it's sandalwood and sweet cranberry it's the only bar i have i've been hoarding it because i love it but the crazy thing is guys is i don't love it as much as i used to it's i i'm sad i'm happy because i'm i'm happy about it because i'm not as sad that i used it up but yeah, there's something, I think it's that sandalwood comes out more now than the cranberry. It makes it almost like a soapy kind of scent. It's still nice. I enjoyed it, but it just smells more soapy than it did before. So I used that up and I'm sad about it, but at the same time, I'm okay because I just don't love it as much as I used to. Uh, some Smell Good Shops uh, scoops, which is Bloodline Coffee sugar cookie whipped cream this was a great coffee scent i really like the texture of her wax it's almost like uh sand this was a great 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 coffee scent i really like the addition of the cookie like coffee and cookies are just a classic kind and this threw really well i get that again same as this one dr sleep boom boom boardwalk mallow clouds and sugar lavender i didn't get any sugar lavender it was just basically boardwalk mallow clouds with some boom boom I love this one and threw really great and I would get this one again. Um, and then glazed cinnamon donut. This isn't my favorite. I don't love cinnamon. You guys know this. Um, and this one's definitely more heavy on the cinnamon than the donut. So it threw well, but I just wouldn't um, repurchase. So, oh, I forgot to love this one. Um, I will after. Britta's pumpkin espresso, pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla bean marshmallow espresso. This one's great. I love British pumpkin pecan waffles. But to me, sometimes hers come off. Her, her pumpkin pecan waffles has like a little different note in it. 
than everyone else's and it kind of smells like sawdust a little bit and i don't mind the smell of sawdust that i know that sounds crazy but uh my dad worked at a sawmill my whole life um he's retired now but um so it doesn't bother me it just like that's kind of where i get a little bit but this one was really really good and performed well but this coffee like blew all the other coffees this is one of my favorites along with her betty's coffee this is ooey gooey coffee coffee espresso sugar cookie peanut or butter brickle caramelized pralines guys i didn't want to leave my bedroom this was so creamy so coffee so bakery so strong so delicious if you have not tried Britta's ooey gooey coffee, highly recommend. Uh, Britta's sweet and savory, pung pecan waffle, sweet potato, brown sugar, vanilla bean, marshmallow. This one's not bad. Again, this is one of the ones I get a little bit of um, that sawdust note from. So it's not bad. I don't think I need more of this. I just have so many Britta's I love. I don't think I need more of it, but it wasn't bad. Um... Jack's Cappuccino, Pumpkin Latte, Brown Sugar Whipped Cream. This one was nice too. Again, not as great as Ooey Gooey Coffee, but it was still nice. This one was a little bit on the lighter side with, I think, just the whipped cream and stuff, but it was good. Autumn Coffee, Coffee, Cinnamon Baklava, Cupcakes of Tiffany's, Caramelized Pralines. Again, I guess I went through quite a bit of her coffee. This one's okay. Um, I don't think I love the cinnamon baklava. I just don't think that's my favorite note. So I don't think I would repurchase this one. So this one I wouldn't at all. Um, sugar and spite. So apple cider donut, cinnamon glaze, glaze baklava, and very vanilla. It's got to be the cinnamon glaze baklava I don't like. I think I've said that before. I don't like it. If you can see what I wrote, it says stale beer. This literally smelled like somebody left a can of beer out at a party and you went and smelled it the next day. That sounds awful. I know, I'm sorry if you're watching this, Britta. She does watch some of my videos. But that just, that's what I pick up is stale beer. So this was not beer repurchase. Um, the Midnight Madness, Coffee, Mac, Apple, Cider Lane, Hot Apple Pie. I love this one. Cider Lane. I, you can never go wrong with Cider Lane. Ugh, so good. I would repurchase this one. Really nice. Zombie Waffles, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Pumpkin Pie Spice from Britta. I got a few more Britta, I guess. Um, don't care for her Pumpkin Pie Spice. I don't care for too much spice anyways uh that's why i got a lot of these in the smaller shapes to try them out if it had like a note i was unsure about um but this one was this one was fine it's just not a repurchase this one's nice sophie's bakery chocolate chip cookie dough waffle cone sweet and creamy sometimes chocolate chip cookie dough is not my favorite note but this one it really worked with that sweet and creamy it definitely definitely kind of took like a medium approach with the, the chocolate so I would repurchase that one. Warlocks on break. Chocolate chip cookie dough, sweet and creamy pumpkin pie spice, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. This one I don't think I'd repurchase. There's just a lot going on. And it's it's fine. I melted it. I didn't complain about it, but it's not a huge love. So this one is a huge love. Hold of the witch. Wildberry mousse, zucchini bread, coconut cream pie, cotton candy frosting. I love this scent. Every time this I melt this, uh, my mouth drools. It is so fantastic. If you like all of those notes or any of those notes, I highly recommend trying this. It is one of the best scents I've ever smelled, hands down, from any vendor. I got 3L3, Palo Santo, Zucchini Bread, Vanilla Bean Noel, uh, Vanilla Wafers. This one's nice. You guys know I'm not a big Palo Santo fan, but this one with all those other notes was really good. I actually really enjoyed it. And I probably would, if I seen that and was buying from L3, pick that up again. Amazing. Um, Fraser Fur, Cinnamon Sticks, Toasted Mallow. This one was nice. It's better than I thought it was going to be with the Cinnamon Sticks. But it's still not a huge love. I wouldn't go out of my way, but I did enjoy it while it was melting. L, um, coffee bean and sea salt caramel this was super strong coffee i didn't get any caramel it was just like bam in your face coffee but then within like three hours she was gone so if uh, this would be a good blend for people that like to melt just coffee in the morning and then change it out this was good it just didn't last long um and two from l after then we're done 
coffee house. Coffee, pastries, buttery maple, vanilla, coconut flakes. This is throwing really good in my house. I'm just not crazy for the scent. There's just something off about it. It just, it's not my favorite coffee scent. I don't know if it's the maple in it or the coconut or what it is, but it's nice. It, it's okay, but not a repurchase. And the last one is sugar shortbread. For, oh, so the, those notes are wrong, but it's sugar shortbread. On cold, this one was like super light. I was like, hmm. I said, I better put this downstairs because vanilla scents don't work in my house. And this one was already light. This is really strong. Like, walk downstairs could smell it wafting up the stairs strong. And that doesn't always happen. So, I really enjoyed this one. And I probably would pick it up again. Um, I'm kind of surprised about it. So, anyways, guys, that's my empties. Uh, I feel like I got through quite a bit. I, I know it's maybe not as more than I do. But since it does last longer, so... But yeah, anyways, um, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.